welcome to sanmon today in this session we are going to look into multiple ways of methods available inside the component and how to send arguments and how we can see the arguments inside the method and also how we can call them inside the component okay so as we know this is the angular part 7 if you would like to continue this in before this i would like to recommend you to continue and go through with the existing videos from part 1 to part 6 as we know in angular we have started this project and we are looking into closely with my component one of the component which we created and in this component we have been uh, uh, checked there are four files which is html css spec and ts file so inside this ts file in the last session we tried to create multiple methods like add and sub methods and arguments and all these things now in this particular session i wanted to show you how the arguments and uh, how we can send the data that means values to the arguments and how it will take it and considered inside the javascript and typescript world okay let's observe that so in this particular uh, example i'm just going to have one button to call that method so let me change this caption of this method as call the method and i would like to just delete everything which is existing currently in this particular uh, example and we create only one method which is call method for us to trigger from the button and uh, this is the method and i wanted to just have one console in this particular method i have been kept one console dot log which will just message in the console call method executed and i take this method and i'm going to bind this method into the clicking event of the but let us check this in the browser and whether this is actually working or not on the click event let me open the browser and type local host colon 4200 and observe i can able to see call the method button and let me open up the developer tools because developer tools is the place where console is present and here i can able to see the console messages i'm clicking on the method button so that i can see call method executed so the method is executing now let's go and observe i am wanted to just create one more method which is args example so in this method clearly we going to see how the arguments will going to work in the methods that means as we discussed already arguments are the inputs to the methods and arguments has to be sent by the caller of the method and while they are sending the arguments the argument will always follows the order if you are not sending the arguments how it will be able to show the errors and how it will behaves all these things we are going to discuss now let me put one more console inside this method or example method execute so in this particular method also for just for the developer purpose for for understanding purpose we have been added one more message which is or example uh, method is executed 
and I would like to call this method in this call method itself. So to call this internal methods of the component, always we need to use this keyword. So this dot or example, this is how I'm calling this method. Now let's observe both the uh, methods are executing or not. I'm clicking on the button so that call method executed or example method executed. Both the methods are executed. Now let's add one argument something like args1 and uh, string. So the argument while I'm declaring, I always declaring the name of the argument. This could be any name. So in this case, I've taken args1 as an argument and I have been uh, used colon and I'm trying to put the data type of this argument, which is string. That means what? It's a collection of characters and whomever is wanted to send any value to this argument, that value should be in string, da string data type only. Okay, that is the meaning of it. Let's print that argument value as it is. So I'm just uh, making the same name of the argument here, aux1 and then colon and I'm just uh, making sure that aux1, whatever comes in the aux1, I would like to show you in the console. So now if you observe here, the moment I have been added this argument to this aux example method, it is showing compilation error saying, arguments one is expected but it is got zero that means it's one of the compulsory argument you have to pass the value to the argument then only this this will become a valid uh, method call otherwise this will be a compilation error if you save it like this still you can able to see the same error present in the server as well means in the console server as well in this uh, TypeScript. Otherwise, if you go and look into the browser, here also the same error will be present. That means the errors, if anything comes, it will be not only placed in the editor, but also will show in everywhere, like in the browser it is showing, the console it is showing, as well as in the server it is showing, and in the editor also it is showing. So the errors will be always shows anywhere in this application development lifecycle. So we need to understand that. and now all the errors will be tell us that same thing which is we got the method which is having argument if any method is having argument and you have to pass the value as we already discussed in the previous session now let's just pass the value the value in this case i'll pass kbc so this is a string that's why i just kept the single quote and I'm passing the value ABC so that if you observe here all the errors and things are cleared and it is a valid argument since it is a string and uh, we are going to see that what going to be there in the method the argument got reached inside the method so I'm printing in the args one which is ABC whatever I'm passing here like XYZ that will be able to pass it to, to the argument and it will be available inside that method. So that is what we need to understand. So, and also you need to observe here, since it is a string data type, I can pass the value directly like this or else if I have any any way, local variable or any other variable and in that the value is string then that can be also passed that means what i can able to pass the value directly to the arguments or i can able to pass any uh, variable which is in the same type that means it should be in the string type then that can be also passed as a value to the arguments so both the things are possible if you observe that the particular value is reached to the method you need to observe clearly that the argument example is passed to the name and the name contains a b c d 
and that a b c d is passed to the arcs 1 and then arcs 1 value become the a b c d and it will show inside the method so that's the most important thing which we need to understand the arcs example method is contain the argument but the argument need not be the same name that will be only maintain the order so order means the first value will go to the first argument let's add one more argument to understand the order in this case i will take all the string arguments i got now i got declared three arguments in this example argument 1 arg 2 arg 3 three arguments in the string format and if you observe here the same error will come it will clearly show that the arguments are actually not provided properly that means we have multiple arguments but you passed only one argument something like that. okay so we have to pass uh, as it is like we need to have the uh, three uh, values we have to pass here three different values and three different values uh, should will go on the you know uh, available to the arcs 2 and arc 3 as well let us just print those things as well so i'm just printing all the argument values here so that we'll understand how the arguments are reaching to the method yes now let let's observe here so we we just got all the arguments so whomever calls this method they will pass the arguments and those arguments will be coming and available in the method so i'm just as it is i'm printing for now and it's not only printing we can use for any any other purpose as we already used it in the previous session for addition subtraction or whatever the reason whatever the uh, value we wanted to use in anywhere in the statement we can use it so now in this case so we need to pass the three values to the argument until it is not passing it will be not a valid call so that it will be going to show us uh, errors actually into the compilation phase now i can able to pass the same value since uh, the value is same and all the three values will be uh, you know name 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 as long as it is the string now it will take it actually it doesn't matter like you have to be passed the different values or you have to pass the same values that's up to us whomever is calling the method they has to take care like what to pass there it doesn't matter whatever comes to the argument it will just come and uh, available to the argument and that will be passed through let me show you that now if you click it you see all the three arguments will have the same value now go on to, i wanted to just change like this now let us observe here the first will be uh, the name and second will be xyz and third will be ghx let's see the first argument will be abcd second will be xyz and third will be ghx this is how the argument will maintain the order and if you interchange it something like dhi and xyz it's always follow the arguments order the first value will go to the first argument second value will go to the second argument and third value will go to the second third argument that's how it should be now see same thing will be displayed in the output now this is the one way of understanding the arguments like this we can mix the data types also that means what in this particular case i wanted to change the arcs 2 as number and arcs 3 as boolean as i'm just taking the very simple uh, uh, you know uh, data types primitive data types in this case but like that we can able to uh, take any kind of uh, arguments over there now if you see arc 2 arcs 1 is in the string arcs 2 is in the number and arcs 3 is in the boolean like that any number of arguments can be able to declare for the method if the method is definitely required we can go ahead and create any number of arguments now let's observe here the name arcs1 is valid so no error here 
and also if you see that it should be number it is throwing some error and you can see that boolean is not taken any error because boolean will be a different thing if value is there it will take it as a true if value is not there then it will take it as false so that's why it is a valid so it is not complain anything for now what i'm going to do i'm just uh, making the three different uh, variables not I, I i can able to send the direct values or else i can send the uh, variables right so i i wanted to create variables for all these three the number and the boolean so i have created three different variables the local variables always we use const or let we discussed these variables in the previous uh, session as well and we're going to discuss uh, more about the uh, variables uh, in the next sessions but just concentrate it's a constant constant means the value will won't, going to, won't change anywhere in the uh, program it never change in the program but if you create as a variable which is let then it can be able to change it that's what is the meaning but yes the currently we have created three different variables one is name another one is salary the third one is is manager and if you just observe the values the first one is a string second one is a number and third one is a boolean boolean means true or false now i'm going to pass these values to the argument so the second value is a string i pass the salary third value should be the boolean I passed it as boolean value to the third argument. If you observe here, it's clearly the the order. It need not to be the uh, name need not to be match, but the order should match. That is the most important thing we need to observe. Now let us show that. If you observe here, the first value is A B C D, second value is twenty thousand, third value is false. So this is how the arguments. Will be able to create and manage with the methods, and these are called compulsory arguments. Compulsory arguments means if you are not passing the argument, it will throw error. But it is not every time. So as a developer, we need not to send every time the value. In that case, how we can deal with it? So if you don't have the value, then how I can do that? There are multiple ways to deal with these kind of situations. something like the caller whoever is calling that method he doesn't have the third value or he doesn't have the first value but he have the other values then in that case still i wanted to use the method in that case simply we can do one thing so in this case to 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 situation to deal with we cannot do in the arguments while we are passing the values we have to pass the values argument 1 argument 2 or argument 3 the values has to be passed and the data type also should be match now but i don't want to pass the value if i'm not passing the value also i wanted to take the situation handling then in that case i will go with the default values the default values will always not in the calling if the the in the in the in the while we are declaring the method okay while you are declaring a methods itself what are the compulsory arguments what are the default values that means optional arguments we can able to decide that means what now currently in this example we have been seen the compulsory arguments compulsory arguments means the arguments we just created with the data type and the caller whomever using this particular method it may be html or it may be the within the method they has to pass the value and it has to be matched with the data type also okay and we need to maintain the order as well. all these things are the compulsory arguments whereas if i declare a default values okay how to declare a default value inside the argument if i wanted to make args3 as a optional i don't want to make args3 compulsory then in that case i can able to assign the value here itself the moment i assign the value here itself inside the argument itself now you observe here all the compilation errors are cleared why because in this meaning if you are not passing the value then the default value will be proceeding 
So the argument three and it uses the same value inside your program. If the caller passes the value, then the value will be taken care and the default value won't be taken. So like this able to, uh, we can able to handle this compulsory arguments and uh, optional arguments can be able to handle using the default values declaring while we are creating the method itself. So we can able to declare the default value for any number, any argument in this particular method. So you need to declare the arguments as a default or it's a compulsory or is an optional while we are declaring the arguments only we decide. So now let us see, I just pass the value false but here the value is true itself. Let us see what will be the output. So if I click it, if you observe there, the argument is ABCD, the second argument will be the 20,000 and third will be the false. So here, since we are passing the false value, let's not passing the value, only two arguments have been passed now to the method, even though there are three arguments. Now let us see what's the output. Now if you observe there, ABCD 20,000 true. So true is came into the picture because the user not passed the value, it is taken the true. So like that, if I wanted to make this is a default value, I can able to make zero. So that argument two, if your nobody is passed the value, then it will take taken the zero. So that the, the salary if I'm not passing also, it won't throw any compilation error because we have, we have made this particular argument as also optional argument. So optional argument always will be uh, take the default value and uh, it is given to the user very much comfortable. So whatever the value is having only that can be passed. Uh, whatever if there is, there is no value available then still we can use the same method with the default values. So in this particular example all three I have been uh, uh, declared the default values that means if I'm not passing any arguments also you observe that the method can be able to call and observe the output the first one got not mentioned the second one got zero third one got true now I just pass the value then check actually the first one got the value which I pass second one still defaults third also default now let us observe I just pass the salary and now you observe there, the default values will be automatically replaced with the value which user is sending. Now the three values are passed there. Now you can check that all three values, whatever the caller sent, that, that value is only present in the arguments. So this is how we can able to deal with arguments in the method. So I'm stopping the session here. The next session we're going to discuss about the written types of the methods. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this session, please comment and share this video. If you don't want to miss my upcoming videos, please subscribe to the channel.